As content creators, we are using AI tools more often than last few years due to the rapid development of AI. These AI tools can do image generation, voice generation, and more tasks. But the problem is, most of the time, these AI tools are expensive, and you will not get your expected result on the first attempt. As an example, I wanted to create a man in a red hoodie. Looking at the camera, I just wanted to have the front view of this character. But in the first two tries, I got this side view, which is not what I wanted. It took me like five tries to make the image I wanted, which is this one. And I'm sure you are also facing this issue when generating images. So that's where these AI web applications come into play. In order to run these AI applications, you need to have a high-end computer with a good GPU. A normal computer can't run these AI applications. You will also need to have some coding knowledge to run these applications on your computer. But what if I say there is a way to run these applications without any issues on your computer? You can do that through Mimic PC. Mimic PC allows you to run the most popular AI application that requires high-end computers and coding experience on a remote system. And the most important question is, is this expensive? Absolutely not. It will cost you pennies. Through Mimic PC, you will be able to access all these popular AI tools, such as Automatic 1111 Web UI, which you can use to create complicated and advanced images and videos with stable diffusion and RVC, which is an AI tool that you can use to make voice clones. And this Alima Web UI, which is a chatbot. And this Comfy UI and Invoke AI, which are best image and video generators. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to run one of these AI models using Mimic PC and generate accurate and advanced images with details. First, go to the main menu and scroll down to the bottom, and you will see this automatic level 11. Web UI Forge model. I'm gonna use this to generate images. Let's click this Get Started button. Now, you will get this window. Make sure to select the latest version. And guys, here, you need to get a remote machine. As you can see here, it costs 49 cents an hour. In this time period, you can generate unlimited images without any limitation. Basically, what we are doing is, we are gonna purchase a remote computer with a GPU to run these generations. As you can see here, this medium option has 16 gigabytes GPU memory, and you can also select more powerful versions. If you get a more powerful machine, you can generate images fast, which means you can save a lot of time and generate more images. I normally use this large pro option, which is available at $1.19. Let's select this and click this select and start option. Now this machine will load up and will be ready for our process within several minutes, and don't worry, this loading time doesn't count to the hour we just purchased. Now, our model is ready. And guys, this is where all the magic happens. As you can see here, this is where we are going to write the prompt. And as you can see here, there are several models, Stable Diffusion, XL, and Flux. I'm gonna select this Flux to generate images. And then you're gonna need to select a suitable Flux model from these as well. I'm gonna go with this Schnell model. With this model, you can do text to image and you can upload your images and enhance or make versions of those with this option. Using this workspace, you can edit the size of your images and the number of outputs. Let's generate some images. First, I would like to generate an image of a cat playing a guitar. I'm gonna enter this prompt, which is a cat playing a guitar. This is just a simple prompt without any details. And I'm gonna reduce this sampling steps to eight. When you create your first image with this model, it will take several seconds to load this Flux model to this remote machine. This happened only for the first time, and then for the next generations, the process will be faster. The image is completed, and it's pretty good. This is not a messy image. This is actually what I expected exactly. Now, I'm gonna add a prompt with more details. I know creating a prompt for image generation is a boring task, but don't worry. I got you guys. I found this free website which is called Glyphs. So, go to this website and search for Flux Prompt Enhancer. Using this prompt enhance, you can generate detailed prompts for free. So, in this case, I need this cat image to be in rock and gothic style. So let's say, a cat playing the guitar. A rock gothic style cat. And guys, make sure to select the style from here. There are a lot of styles such as anime, realistic, Pixar, and more. I'm gonna go with this hyper-realism style and just click this run this glyph option. Now, as you can see here, we have a highly detailed complex prompt. I'm gonna copy this and let's paste it here and let's generate the new image. Wow, this is absolutely perfect. I don't think you can create accurate images like this using any other AI tool. Let's add a black jacket to this cat as well. 
I'm gonna edit the prompt like this. Cat is wearing a black jacket, and let's see the result. Now this is freaking crazy. This image is really cool, I mean, my boy rocking on the stage. Now I wanna see how this cat will look with anime style, so I'm gonna go back to glyphs and select anime style from here and generate a new prompt. And let's copy this prompt again and see the result. Okay, okay, it's a cool anime cat with a guitar. I'm gonna do some cool thing with this. Now let's change this prompt. Instead of a normal cat, let's add a Dracula cat like this and generate a new prompt. I'm gonna copy this to our model and let's see the result. Wow, it's amazing. But it looks like a female cat. Let's change this prompt a little bit. Let's add the word male to here and regenerate this image. I have increased the output images to two images and this looks more like a cat and a man hybrid. Now, I wanna add some text to this image, so I'm gonna change this prompt like this. I wanna add Black Cat Vampires as the name of this rock band. So let's modify this prompt like this and see other results. This is a little bit messy. I think it's due to the prompt. Let's modify the prompt completely and see how it will come out. Let's go back to Glyph and edit the prompt. I'm gonna add it like this. There is a board on the stage which says Black Cat Vampires, and let's do a realistic image this time. And I'm gonna copy this prompt just like we did before and paste it here. Let's generate the images. Wow, this is perfect. The first image has small issue. It has added extra word to it. But this one is perfect. I don't think other AI tools can generate accurate text in an image like this. Now, I'm gonna try a different model. Let's use this FP8 model and generate some images. This time, let's try to generate something like this. A man standing near a red Mustang car near the pyramid in a desert? Let's generate the detailed prompt using glyph, and I'm gonna copy this prompt just like we did before. Now, since we changed the flux model, it will take several seconds to load this to the remote machine, and let's see the final results. This first image has two people in it, but the second one is exactly as I expected. Now, let me show you a cool thing. We can actually see how this workflow works, and it's faster and it can generate more accurate error-free designs. If you go to this Discover option, you will be able to see a lot of workflows that are designed to do specific tasks. As an example, this workflow has been designed for images with text like this. And this one is for video generations. Using this specific workflow, you can generate anime characters. So there are a lot of workflows you can get access. No need to download or install, you can just start this workflows with one click. Go to this tutorial hub, and here you will be able to see the tutorial to use these works flows. Here you need to search for NF4, it is a faster flux model and workflow. As you can see here, you will be able to see how to use this workflow, but I'm gonna show you how to use it. Click this, run this workflow now option, and you will come to this page. Here you need to click this apply button, just like before you need to start your remote machine for this. And I'm gonna select this, and let's start it. And this is the workflow, I know, it's a bit complicated, but don't worry, you don't need to understand it or think about it. Using this box, you can select the flux model. This is the box where you should enter your prompt. And guys, as the first example, I'm gonna create a thumbnail using this workflow. So, let's go to Glyph and create a prompt. This thumbnail is for a true crime video about the Night Stalker. And, let's copy this and paste it into the prompt box. And guys, make sure to change the width and height of this image to match the thumbnail size. And I'm gonna reduce the steps to 12 and, and let's start this generation by clicking this Q prompt option. Now, you will be able to see the image generation process as well. Little by little, our image is generating, I think, I added the wrong height to this image, but this image is good and we need to add more details. So let's change the prompt by adding some details. I'm gonna add something like, a woman running and a hooded figure following her, and let's try this prompt. I'm gonna paste it here and let's generate the image. As you can see here, this is exactly what we wanted. This is perfect. You can use this workflow to create thumbnails, book covers, movie posters, and more. I'm gonna save this workflow, and I will leave the link to this workflow in the description so that you guys can get access to it. And guys, you can join the Discord community. I will leave the link to that in the description. You can learn a lot of new information about these AI tools for free through this Discord community. And I will bring new tutorial like this one for the other features as well. With that, today's video has come to an end. I will see you guys in the next video.